Cliff Ash Trio. You know, it sounds so darn nice to have real music uh, coming out of your television and uh, out of our studio and into your Monday morning. We thought we would continue that trend. Would you welcome, please, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ira Joe Fisher Show, Marion Spellman. <laughs> Let me give you Hi, a kiss. Glad you're here. Thank you. I'd kiss you too, but I've got lip gloss on. I'd slide right off. That's okay. <laughs> Hi, Murgy. Hi, Rody. Hi, everybody. Wonderful to see all of you. Thank you. Here's an age-old question. What is this thing called love? This funny thing called love just who can solve this mystery why should it make a fool of me Of course. Put a bet on it. Oh, it was right. just wonderful. We just got finished replacing all the lights when she sang it in rehearsal, for heaven's sake. Marion, welcome to the program. Thank How you. It's good a pleasure. To you. Thank well, you. It's wonderful to see you, too. Well, thank you very I much. I watch you in the morning. I think you're so cute. Oh, <laughs> stop it. You you're get, cuddly. You can get lip gloss on me anytime. That's so sweet of you. Uh, we are excited about this. Uh, the place is just to quiver with it. How do you feel to be received in this fashion? to uh, have this, well, uh, legend, this persona precede you before you arrive in a place. I love the word legend. Yes. That means age. She bobbed it. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, we, I guess we've employed the wrong terminology here. No, no, no. It's great. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to see friends, Murgy and Rhodey. Oh, God, I love it. I love it. And all these nice people. Wouldn't it's it be great wonderful. if they took us out to lunch? <laughs> Would you? Huh? Is the White Castle open this early? <laughs> Which reminds me, speaking of things being over this early, now, I uh, asked you if you would like some coffee this morning or a donut or anything, but you know, singers have a particular consideration. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, so you want to... Terrible wanna... to sing in the morning. But you did such a wonderful job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to talk about, uh, Marion, with you, uh, such things as the fact that you grew up here in Cincinnati. Oh, and, yes. And you studied classically for a while, and yes. you certainly do hear that intimation in your voice and in your performance. You auditioned for the Metropolitan Opera. Yes, I won the Metropolitan Opera auditions. Uh, what year see. was that, Mary? Uh, I knew you'd ask. Uh, I forget. I always have to have Rhodey 
I always have to ask Rhody what I when I was divorced and when I was anything. She's my statistician. She's a statistician. I never remember years. You know, she I don't. She's the alimony check. <laughs> <laughs> I know how old I am, but I don't remember anything else. Well, okay, we don't need to get that specific. Unless Rhody, you want to come up here? <laughs> you know, if we get many more people out here, we're going to run out of couch. I don't want to say anything, but. Uh, but, but, but the Metropolitan Opera was something that you wanted to pursue? No, not really. I, I'm sort of weird. I was That's never... why I didn't audition for it either, because I didn't <laughs> want to do that, Mary. I, well, I could sing a couple of arias, and it was just a lucky fluke that I won. And I did go to New York, and I sang with the, the uh, NBC Symphony Orchestra. That was radio. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't win. I, didn't, I guess I didn't expect to win. I guess I hoped to win, because you always, you know, it's such an aspiration. Sure. But uh, I have no regrets at all, because working on WLW with Ruth and with Bob and, and Dixon, you know, it, it turned out wonderfully. And I was never career-oriented, never was. It just sort of happened. Because I was married, and I was 18 years old when I was married, and my son was two years old before I started to study singing. So it just kind of like, uh -huh. hap it was a happenstance. Now, from the time you were a little tiny child, did you pursue this? No. Thing? Yeah. But you always sang, I suspect. Not really. I guess I like to. Mm. My mother, my mother had a beautiful voice. It, I feel very sad that in her day, which was, they just didn't accept anything like that. She came from a very Germanic family, you mm -hmm. know, and they thought anything was show business was sinful. Mm -hmm. But she had, and they were all very poor, you know, and it just was out of their realm of, of thinking about it. But my mother was a beautiful lady and had a wonderful personality and a beautiful voice, a beautiful natural voice. And I, I so regret that she wasn't able to pursue that because she could have been a very great star. She really could have been. Well, she was very much an extrovert, you know, so yeah. she would have had it. She was it, happy for you know. She loved it. Yes, she, she it. was. She was. She, she lived by Carrie. She kept all the too, because she was the first one on birthdays and Christmas. <laughs> oh, I still yes, have she handkerchiefs she gave me. Yes, she oh, was. Oh, that yes, sweet. She was a doll. What I like is what you said. You uh, have paraphrased Helen O'Connell, Marion, often. What is it uh, that oh, you say yes. about this? Yes, she said, and absolutely correctly, I cracked up when I heard her say that. She was talking about the big band days. Sure. And she said, if I'd known I was living through an era, I would have paid more attention. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, that's true of all of us, because we know, really yeah. did not know that we were living through an era that would die. And yeah. it has died. Never thought you know, of it. Yeah. yeah, never thought of it. Well, but it, it's true. It's very much alive here this morning, and uh, you have breathed your special breath of life into it, the three of you, and we're going to continue that. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll have more with Bob and Ruby and Marion and Cliff when we take a short break. <laughs>